when people did come home, they were often, they were often, or very often, not the same people that went away because their world had been changed so much, their worldview had been changed so much. They had suffered so much trauma, whether physical, mental, both, uh, during the war. And the other interesting thing is that nobody seemed to want to talk about it at the time. They, they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't tell people what they'd gone through, presumably because they didn't have the words in which to express all the things that they'd gone through. It was just so horrific. And uh, the people at home then had absolutely no idea what their men folk had been had been suffering during the war. So there was this great sort of fracture in the community and in families between these people coming back and the people who'd been there all the time uh, and were waiting for the men they sent off to come back, who, who didn't in most cases. They were completely changed people. The war changed an awful lot of things, but it also sort of resulted in a big change between uh, the Victorian and the Edwardian age, and then this this sort of push into the 20th century that they got, and Non is sort of got a, a foot in both camps. She's a kind of quite a modern woman in some ways, it, it, insofar as she could be in her rural community, and she looks ahead and she can see that there is more to life than just looking after a family and so forth, and she has ideas that she might do things in the future. But she's also been brought up by an elderly father who, who was uh, a famous herbalist and, and, and she lives in that part of, of time as well. And you know, the two clash to some extent, but also blend uh, in the book. And I was quite interested in both, both those aspects of Mon's, Mon's life. But I think that the men, presumably because they had been away, and all the time they were away, they were thinking of home and they wanted to come home to their families, most of them. They were desperate just to see their families and come home to their families and to leave the fighting behind. And they wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been so happy to see changes, I think. They would have wanted things to be the way they always were, because that was, that was where their comfort zone was, in a sense, I think and they'd had far too much change to cope with as it was, really. My thing was that I wanted him to invent this story about the nurse, in a way, as a way, in a sense, of not be, not having to get too close to Non, because he couldn't, he couldn't cope with it. He couldn't cope with being close to anybody. He had to really keep himself, you know, very, very sort of under a great deal of control in order to stop everything spilling out. And I think that what people forget as well, um, quite often, is that in those rural areas on the edges of the country, you know, up in Scotland, in, in the southwest of England, in the west of Wales. Things were like, you know, something like 15 or 20 years behind any developments in London, for instance, which was, you know, the capital of the UK. And it made quite a lot of difference to people as well. The old ways kept going a lot longer and new things were a lot longer coming, coming in. You can't kind of think about writing about anywhere else, really. This is the strange thing. And it's quite interesting that I'm writing and somebody in a review picked up on it and said that um, uh, something along the lines of that, um, you know, the small town that I left when I went to university uh, has proved to be um, a very productive sort of... Um, a uh, source of inspiration uh, for my books, and it's very true. Um, now that I, you know, I hadn't really thought about that until I read it, and I thought, oh, well, let's just write. You know, <laughs> I do find writing quite hard. I do find it quite hard to juggle all the stories and keep going and things, and I do find it very hard to do, get the writing to do exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. It's really hard to do that, but when it happens, it's kind of like, you know, there's no feeling like it really. It's absolutely fantastic feeling, and I suppose that people keeps writers going all the time.